all right you guys welcome back to the second phase of painting of the train case and so in this video um, we're gonna go ahead and start just working around the train case getting um, all the paint on and then tomorrow we'll come in and then add another layer of like shadowing shading doing those kind of things um, probably add the quotes tomorrow um, I actually had an image of um, or had a thought of adding more quotes than what I had originally planned to so I'm gonna give that some thought after I get a lot of this first um, base paint down we already got the base paint but the base paint of the actual images that I have on my train case so we'll see what happens so let's go ahead and get started um, I did change up the shape of her legs um, if you notice from yesterday um, just because as I was looking at them I wanted to kind of do more of a pose with her legs kind of like ballerina style so um, so I changed that up so I'm gonna go ahead and take the same plate and I'm gonna just start adding some colors and I'm gonna not move this around like I did just I saw the video and it was like ah uh, so I'm gonna kinda just leave it like this and I think you guys will get a view and I hope I don't block it um, filming this big train case on my desk has been kinda a little bit of a challenge but not that bad you know so okay so let's see here we're definitely gonna be using red so uh, this is a Christmas red I think this is kind of a darker red but I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little blob of it onto my uh, paper plate and then I'm gonna do I want to do like a brighter red this is primary red which is perfect for those um, the mushrooms that I have on here I hope I have enough of this it's a lot more brighter red and I like that um, let's see the rainbow I'm gonna be adding some purple um, to the rainbow let's see what this is purple rain and this is lavender I'm gonna add see if I can get some lavender on there and then I think I was thinking about doing um, a yellow not a real bright yellow the kind of a like a darker this is yellow deep. Let's see. I'm going to be adding some white, of course, to my, to the art. So, I mean, to these blobs of paint. <laughs> and um, let's see here. We're going to be doing a lot of green around the trim here for the grass. Because lots, forests definitely have lots of grass. And then what we can do is just kind of add color as we go along let's see what else we got going on here oh I have my so this is another thing that I've kind of been going back and forth on and I think I finally have figured out what I'm going to be doing um, for my for my tree um, I think I'm actually going to do like a darker pink on for the for hit for the roof of that little hobbit house so I'm going to just kind of pour this on here and so let's go ahead and just start with those and we'll see um, I always like to do different pinks because pink is something I do use quite often okay so um, let's see here texting my son because we're going to be um, he's going to be going back to college on the 14th and I don't know what the plan is with everything with the pandemic but um so we'll have to see okay so you didn't see me blobbing my colors i apologize about that this is kind of what it looks like um i know what i did was i just did um did the different shades and then i add some white next to next to it and i apologize for not having that in the screen um so let's get started what we're going to do is i'm going to start with the girl first so i think what i'm going to do is um let's go ahead and get her hair going here i'm going to get a paper towel so i have that handy and i'm going to just kind of um 
smear this the yellow in sorry I'm gonna kind of check here make sure you guys can see but I'm just gonna make it like a more lighter yellow and then with her hair I'm gonna come back in if not later on in this video series um, and actually put in some different shades darker here so I'm just gonna kind of do this um, and actually maybe come around and have her hair kind of come down here kind of like a braid and I had originally had the crown remember we were kind of going to see how we were going to do the crown area and I still may do the crown because I have some ideas for that so a little bit darker and I'm just kind of blobbing on the paint here okay so um, I think for her for the paintbrush, we're going to do a, um, I think I'm going to do like a, a purple paintbrush here. And I'm just, oops, I'm just mixing in my light purple with, I mean the lavender purple with the white and it's making a little bit lighter color tone. Adding a little bit of dark in there. And I'm just going to fill this in here. Like that. Now, with her outfit, I kind of was creating a jumper, which I still think that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to actually maybe do like a, um, you know what I think would look really cute? It's from my orange. I love orange and pink together. So my paper plate here and we're just going to go straight a little bit of white we're going to add whoops let me get some of that excess paint off we're just going to add orange right in here fill that in I may come back and add like polka dots. I'm gonna make her outfit really fun. Um, the arm is quite large, I have to say, which we may have to come back in and fix that. But again, a, the, that's the fun thing about acrylics is they are so easy to come in and repair. I mean, if you get in there and you're like, oh, that arm is way too big you can, um, the acrylic paint is easy to cover. And I may have to come back in here and redo this just because I didn't put any gesso down on top to, since we're going to be changing the colors. So, that may be, um, that may be, um, I'm just going to see. I don't know if this is the same pink or not. Just kind of going back over that pink area to fill in her dress. Okay. Now for her leggings, she needs to have some striped leggings, I think. So I'm going to add, I think, green. Like I said, she's going to be really fun and whimsical and colorful. Um, and that's what's fun about when you paint uh, different characters. You can 
pick out whatever color outfit they that you want them to wear. So I'm just going to kind of come through here and add just green with some touch of white. And I think what I might do is kind of do like some little uh, little shoes. I may come in here and do like a little bit darker green. This is a festive green. Because it almost looks too light. Now when I come up to, when we do tomorrow, we'll do some touch-ups on this. So it'll be a lot more defined looking. Once you start adding your shadows in there. Okay. So let's get our skin tone. And I know we can do like a, a pink, but I also actually have, and you can do whatever skin tone that you want. I actually have a lighter light flesh color but I think I'm gonna mix it with some um, with the darker shade because this is almost like re really really white oh I think I just stepped on something sorry um, okay here we go this is a flesh yellow so it's more of a darker shade but it it actually it's not so um, it adds, adds a little bit more color so I'm just going to mix those two. Add a little pink in there. Let me see so I can show you what I'm doing here. And I'm just going to come in here and fill in her face. This is where you can kind of come in and add different shading along. Usually what I do like on a lot of my canvases and stuff and artwork, I use a, a watercolor pencil to kind of come shape the face out. Um, just to give it some shadowing around. Okay, then I'm going to add her little hands on here. And I'm just kind of doing little blobs of, um, of the same color of skin tone. Kind of show, her. it's kind of almost like she's wearing mittens. And a lot of times, sometimes I'll do that in the artwork, and sometimes I'll actually add the fingers. But since she's kind of holding on to the paintbrush, I think I'm just going to lay those little mitten type hands on there. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to use that same yellow flesh tone um, straight forward and then just add the brushes and that way but again I'm going to come in and add a different bit of paint on the tip of my paintbrush to show that she's she's been painted. She may have painted that rainbow. <laughs> okay, so we kind of have her done and then we're going to just kind of move around. Um, should we do some grass? Let's, let's try some grass here. So I'm actually going to get a little bit um, more flat paintbrush here and I'm going to take that same green and I'm going to mix it with the white. I'm actually going to add a lot more green into it. This is that orchard, apple orchard green. I love the lighter green. It's one of my favorite colors to paint with. 
Usually I paint with that um, sour, sour apple. And then I'm just going to come in here and add, do some coloring in here. And again, you know, it doesn't have to be like perfect. I'm just kind of adding some shading in there. But the reason I remember what I was talking about quotes earlier, I think I'm going to actually kind of put a quote right here. I've been looking, I was still looking online about different quotes and in books, some of my favorite books that I like to read. And um, so I think I'm going to actually do a little bit more quotes. Maybe one along the back side. I like quotes. Um, they actually, um, they can really, for me, um, they can really add a lot of, uh, you know, des desire or ambition is a word some excitement yes let's do this kind of deal and um so there's a lot that i like that especially because this is going to be my um art box my magical suitcase <laughs> um and i want to be inspired when i have this with me okay so we're making our way to the tree i'm just going to kind of do some foliage down here and this is the part that I kind of went back and forth. Um, I want it not to be like your normal little leaved tree. But then I didn't want it. There's a particular piece of art that I see a lot. And I didn't want it to really kind of follow the same line. So I'm just going to go for it. I don't really know what. Um, I didn't really like practice it out or anything like that. Um, so we're just going to go for it. We're just going to see what happens. And if I have to come back in, if I don't like it or it doesn't quite turn out, like I said, this is very, very um, forgiving. I'm just going to kind of add my greenery around here. Okay. So, I'm going to get a little bit bigger paintbrush. Let's see here. I washed all my brushes. Let's see, is this going to work? I think this will work. It's another round um, paintbrush there. So, what I thought about doing is I'm taking my pinks and I'm mixing in some white and I may, I'm leaving it like swirly. If y'all can see that, see how it's real swirly. I'm getting a big glob on the end. And I think what my plan is, is I'm just going to, I kind of want the blobbiness to keep on to the tree. Let's see if I can add some more. This is that, what color is this pink? I call it like a fuchsia. Oh, magenta. Magenta. Um, so I'm just doing swirls. This, it's, it's nothing. It's a whimsy tree. So this is kind of what I had in my mind. Um, And we'll see what it ends up looking like. And that's what tomorrow, when we come to um, add a little bit more, uh, we add a little bit more detail, we'll come in here and um, whenever we have that, like see how it's like the lighter, I'll come in here with the darker yellow and it'll create a little bit more dimension on the trees. I don't know if you guys probably have seen it. I've seen it a lot. and I don't know. Um, I think I've even seen it with the diamond dots. Have y'all done any of the diamond dots? My daughter loves it. My um, sister loves it and even my dad loves it. Um, I think I saw the tree that has the big swirls and that's kind of what I didn't, I didn't want to like do a replica or, or anything like that. I still like to keep my little See, that needs to be more orange, I think, just to, but I really wanted the blobbiness to it because I really wanted to keep the dimensions. Remember how I said I was going to come up here with it. 
I really wanted to keep the the dimensions. This orange may not be like the best color to use. Um, I really wanted to keep that like a thicker paint look to it. Okay, we got purple and then we're going to get some blues in here. Really wanted to keep it the candy color coated. Um, candy colors. And of course I got to do something with those branches because remember how I said, well, the branches aren't exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> So we're going to fill them up, but I still want them to kind of peek through. And that way, I still have them. We can definitely, and do, definitely want to overlap them, but I know with the wet paint, I don't want them to mix um, right away. I'm going to do that Christmas red. Let's see what that looks like uh, mixed with the white. See how it's kind of mixing in there? So I may have to come back in after once these are dry and add a little bit more on where they overlap. I'm going to pour out some of this teal uh, turquoise. And I thought I had a peacock. This is one of my peacock chillas. I love this color too. So I'm just going to pour some of that out as well. Oh, this one's really runny. Okay. So let's see what we get when we mix those. Oh, it's almost the color of the suitcase. May not be able to do the do the actual uh, mixing there. So you get the idea. You know, of what my thought process. See how it's kind of mixing. I don't want it to do that. So may this is where you have to. I have to practice my patience because I want to just, oh, that's really pretty. Once I don't add any of the, the white, it just, that's a really pretty pink next to all the other colors. And I love the, the way it textures up there. Kind of looks like a candy tree, doesn't it? So what we might do is move on and then we can come back and come back over and play with this a little bit more. And I may end up adding a little bit of greenery in there. We'll see. We'll see what happens as we get as I get closer into. We also have to um, make make its face. So I have this raw sienna again. I think I'm going to try to do like a little bit darker, darker brown. Let's see what we can find over here. You know what I do? I do have these acrylics. I know I'm going to totally mispronounce this. This is with my uh, Mindy um, Lacefields class that I'm taking. Sh I have never bought these before and I absolutely love them. They are a little bit, um, and I know I'm going to pronounce them wrong. Maybe. <laughs> they're, they're acrylic. Oh gosh, I don't even want to say it because I know I'm going to say it wrong. Because I thought I was calling it Goshi or something, <laughs> but it's wrong. But anyway, I'm just going to leave it at that. These can be found. These are like a really, actually a thicker, um, I don't think I even used this one yet. Oh yeah, I have. Um, they're fun. They're actually like a little bit thicker paint. 
And so, they, um, they're actually pretty fun. I'm going to actually, before I go making this face in here, I'm going to um, just kind of add some eyebrows there. But um, I'm going to use a pencil before I do that. And we can do that tomorrow. But I'm just going to add a little bit more color in here. try something really quick here just to see how if I was to add a little bit of green how that would look that actually looks pretty cute I'm just kind of like filling in, you know, like it is a green tree with little popcorn, not popcorn balls, but little balls on them um, how that would look. A little... Kind of like that, actually. Kind of fills it in, but doesn't take away completely. Oops. I'm going to have to come back when it's dry. But I kind of like that, actually. Where you still have that look of the tree, but... Oh. See? Tell myself to be patient. I'm mixing the colors and I don't want to do that yet. I want those balls to be uniquely by themselves. So we'll come I'll come back in here and fill that in. Okay. So coming to the swing we have here. I think I'm gonna use that um, that paint, that dark sienna. I'm just going to draw this dream. Actually, I need a little bit more finer tip here. And actually, my plan is to come in here and add flowers onto my swing set. And we'll do that either, um, we'll come back to the tree and see if it's dry. If not, we'll do that tomorrow. We'll get that, um, get that done. Now, when I'm typically painting um, train cases, you know, sometimes they get done in a day, usually not, because I usually have to, I, well, I call it resting where I think, of, let them think, you know. But, you know, usually there's a lot of drying times between all the coats. But what's fun about the acrylics is they really do um, dry fat, oops, dry fast. So like I know the girl on the other side, she's already dry. I'm just going to come in here and add some of my little mushrooms. This red paint is very thick. And I I know that these, these typically have the white bases on them. Right? Those little mushrooms. actually use like a brown because this I'm going to have to lift up just a little bit. Can you guys still see if I lift it up? Yeah. Um, just to be able to get my hand under there. And I need to add another little, I need to have a friend. Paintbrush is kind of getting. I think it's this red paint. It's very, very thicker than what I've been playing around with here. And I think, like, what I'll probably end up doing too is adding little mushrooms 
here and there throughout the um, throughout this train case once I'm done with the big images. And tomorrow we can come, you know, do the details on them and things, but I just want to kind of add a little bit of brown to it as well. Okay. And um, just to kind of show you too, like with the green, see that since it's already kind of dry, come back with that darker green and actually do some little blades of grass. Whoops. Where that mushroom is. And over here next to the tree a little bit. Okay. So that's kind of what we'll do tomorrow when we kind of come back in here and add details um, to this. Okay, so let's see here. Let's get our house done. And then we got to do our rainbow. And... We'll see what, we'll kind of do another look through. And, um, what did I say I was going to do that house? Was I going to do it like a darker pink? Is that what I had agreed on? Um, and then we'll kind of see where we're at. Because I was trying to keep these videos under 30 minutes. I know that sometimes when you're painting, though, you're having so much fun. It's hard to keep it up over. How about that? Oh yeah, that's perfect. Using that dark pink again. Oh, and I'm using a flat brush. You know, what's interesting is I used to use flat brushes all the time. That was like my favorite brush to use. And now I've kind of gotten to where the rounded paint brushes are my favorite. And I'm sure there is a technique that you use certain brushes on, but I use whatever makes me comfortable, <laughs> to be honest with you. This roof is a little bit on the small side, but you know, we're in whimsy land, so it doesn't necessarily have to be perfect. to her her rooftop there I'm just, yeah I'm saying this is my little my little fairies um, girl fairy house because it's pink okay and then for the for the window, I was going to kind of do a door, but I think I'm just going to actually add, make this be a window. And she's got the lights on, so we're going to paint that yellow. And I'm just using a mixture of the dark and the light. I like the way it kind of... Oh, got some red on there. Um, I like the mixture of the two so that way you already have some shadowing in there. And she's home. Her lights are on. Okay. So I think for the the chimney. I'm going to do this other pink that we have. And that way she's got, of course I got my yellow on there too, which is fine. Whoops, yeah, that's it. That was actually pretty quick, right? And tomorrow we're going to come in, we'll do the shadowing, and we'll add some tile look to her top 
um, to her uh, shelving. Okay, so now we're going to do the two little mushrooms here, and then I do plan on doing maybe a word or something right there. So we're going to leave that area blank. I'm going to lift this up just a little bit. Oh no, I just stuck my finger in her window. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, i got to add some green around the front here too. Let's see if I can get this handle lifted up. Okay. So I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of think about my quotes and then tomorrow we'll come in and start out with that. Maybe do that first. That way they have a chance to kind of dry. Even though I think that the tree needs to be done. Um, I need to finish up that tree, which is adding... Um, I am going to add some green, green to the background so that way um, it does a filler and it still has the little little globes. How, how many names have I given those little little white candies? Um, I want a globe candy balls on the tree. we got to come up with a cute name for them. Okay, so I did that. We're going to add some the greenery around the bottom. Keep it consistent that it's continuous here. Okay. So, for the rainbow. Alright. I think we're going to do like a purple. Um, let's see here. Do a purple and then maybe either a yellow or I think I'll do a yellow on top. So we're going to do purple on the bottom here and over here on my, which I know you guys can't see it. Can you see me working on my, let me see what I look like. Okay. Um, we're going to do, I'm mixing that lavender purple with white. And again, I really want kind of a thick paint on the end of my paintbrush here. Hope my head just wasn't in y'all's way. It's kind of tricky painting this. You would think it's such a simple line that it'd be pretty easy. And then we're going to do a yellow rainbow, a yellow top. I almost thought about doing like a... No, I think yellow, yellow will brighten it up a little bit. And I've got yellow kind of throughout this, this, the train case too. And I love yellow. It's so pretty, happy, cheerful. So we're going to just complete this little rainbow with the yellow top. There we go. This one's getting going on a lot more smoother than my purple. 
actually got a little bigger on that side and I am okay with that. Tomorrow we'll come in here and lighten it up a little bit as well. All right. So, wow, we did a lot. We got our girl somewhat done. We got, you know what I wanted to do? Remember we talked about the crown? Um, I want to add that. I want her to have a little crown. She is the princess of her, her little rainbow train case. So this is, if y'all haven't ever bought the paint, acrylic paint from Target, it's pretty good stuff. Actually, I really, really like it. It's it's really thick. Um, and again, sometimes I don't want the thick paint, and um, but it's it's really actually pretty good paint. And um, I think I would go get all the colors if I had to, if I need, you know, if I needed them. And I they have this gold, and I really um, I've used it a lot. I'm almost out. We're going to put her little crown on her. Whoa. Sometimes I have to very, put it really lightly because I don't want it to leave those streaks in her crown. There. She's got her little crown on. Okay, so I think I think we're going to wrap this up today because I know that this video, um, I was kind of timing myself. I think it's kind of going on 40 minutes, you guys. Um, now, at this point, what I might do off camera is just, um, sorry, I'm cutting, adding a little bit of darkness. I have so much paint left on my plate, I hate for it to go to waste. Um, see this is kind of what I'm going to be doing tomorrow is adding some different shadings to her and adding different shadings to the entire train case but I think what I'm going to do offline here is um, just go through and like complete my tree see now I'm going to come in and do like polka dots I don't know. I hope I can get this video series done. <laughs> like I said, I was trying to make it where um, it wouldn't be real long video. You know, what is this? We this is I need to fix that. So I may come in here and do some flowers or something like that. But um, we will um, we'll finish this up. We'll get more detailed done tomorrow on it. But in the meantime. Um, just so y'all know too, what I think I might do is um, just come in here and not do a lot of the detail because I do want to show you guys how I do that, but um, maybe come in and work on my tree a little bit. Fill it in. It needs some work. I need to, I need to play with that a little bit. So, um, so I may do that just maybe mixing some more green paint. And it's going to take some time to come in here and maybe fill this in. But maybe I'll just do little blotches like that. I love the thickness of the paint. Just kind of put that in there like that. So maybe I'll just come do that. And that, that way y'all aren't watching me fill in between the bubbles either. <laughs> so, alright you guys, this was fun. I think it turned out really cute. I'm excited. Um, it's coming together quite nicely. It looks whimsical, looks enchanted. I love my little crap, my little girl holding her paintbrush. So, all right, we will see y'all tomorrow in um, the next video.